नमस्कार राजगिरी वीकेंड इंटरव्यू सीरीज में आप सभी का स्वागत है और आज हमारा सौभाग्य है कि स्क्रीन के दूसरे हिस्से में जिस कलाकार को आप देख रहे हैं वो किसी एक डांस फॉर्म का परिचय भर नहीं है बल्कि वो एक भारत के लिए कल्चरल आइकन जैसी हैं आप मूलता भारत की नहीं है लेकिन भारत उनके लिए क्या कुछ अहमियत रखता है ये बताने की जरूरत नहीं है शेरौन जी हमारे साथ है यूं तो एक बहुत बड़ा परिचय उनका ओडिसी नृत्यांगना के तौर पर है लेकिन जैसा मैंने कहा कि वो इस देश की कल्चरल आइकन है और इसलिए सबसे पहले हमने जैसा कहा हमारा सौभाग्य है कि वो हमसे जुड़ रही हैं बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैम आपका बहुत धन्यवाद अच्छा मैं आ, स्टार्ट करूं उससे पहले आ, थोड़ा सा फ्लैशबैक में जाना चाहेंगे डू यू स्टिल रिमेम्बर दर्स्ट डे वेन यू विजिटेड इंडिया जब पहली बार आप आई पहला दिन आपको याद है हिंदुस्तान का हाँ जी हाँ जी इनफैक्ट द फर्स्ट डे आई अराइव I was greeted by the representative from the Fulbright Foundation. He told me that the that my arrival was after the end of the last day for me to start. He said, "But we'll count from the day you left USA." So that was first understanding that in India things can be flexible if you want them to be. और और क्या कुछ यादें हैं उस दिन की किस तरह से आ, आपको आ, क्योंकि जैसे हम लोग एज ए जर्नलिस्ट हम बहुत सारे आ, देश में गए जहां पर जब पहली बार कदम रखा वो चाहे पाकिस्तान हो चाहे इंग्लैंड हो चाहे ऑस्ट्रेलिया हो तो उसकी यादें बहुत दिनों तक ताजा रहती हैं कि अरे यार पहुंचे थे तो बहुत ठंड थी या बहुत ऐसे लोग दिखाई दिए या टैक्सी थी या बहुत ट्रैफिक था उस देश की एक इमेज बनती है वो वो कुछ याद आता है इट इज I always felt very comfortable um and I planned to stay as a paying guest. I thought I would have support of a family. Lekin us family Simla mein hai. And there was one chota uh, chota uh, uh, larka he was about 12 13 and jada mushkil. I mean uh, kana tik nahi he would lock the door I couldn't get in. I didn't know you have to turn off the fan the geezer um whether I can go from my room to the bathroom that boy is there in my robe do I have to be poor at clothes um sham ko chhe baje can I go to the market and get bread or it's dark it's too late like in other than that I was very uh very comfortable I lived in Bengali market hmm I was taking Manipuri classes at Triveni Kalasangam. I mean first I was uh in Fire Lane. Uh 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 the, the behind the Fulbright but then I moved to Bengali Market. I had many friends that were artists because when I was 10 we had family friends an artist from Baroda. Um Narendra Patel. So my uncles, when I came to India, were Shanko Chaudhary, um, Himmat Shah, hmm. Shanti Davi, and uh, G R Santosh. So uh, uh, they were my uncles. I went to da- their uh, art exhibition exhibitions, and every day I did my Manipuri circles on the Triveni stage. Uske baad. Um, एक साल के बाद गुरुखेलचरण महापात्रा केम टू त्रिवेणी दूसरा बार ही हैड बीन देयर आई सॉ वर्कशॉप सेकंड टाइम आई सेड अच्छा मैं आई एम अ मणिपुरी डांसर लेकिन 
I should understand Kalhut Pataka, Tri Pataka. I should understand Kuchbi. I'll be teaching in America. So I took my workshop with Guruji, Kelu Babu. He said I learned faster than any student he taught because I had so much other dance, 17 years, um, ballet modern. And he, um, he, after two weeks, he had me helping with the beginning class. He taught me three important dances on Mangalacharan, Invocation, Batu takes one year, I did in two months, and one Pallavi. Then he said, costume chaye is a rule. I said, no, 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 I'm not Odissi dancer, I'm a Manipuri dancer. He said, no, he had Kavita Shridrani take me to get the right sari, go to the tailor, record the music. Uskabad, I went to uh, back to America. I taught University of Michigan one summer, and then Wapas. So that's the beginning. Shuru Singh, <laughs> poor app. Or, or, कोई ना कोई घटना हुई होगी या कोई ऐसा इंसिडेंट हुआ होगा जब आपने डिसाइड किया होगा कि अब इंडिया में रहना है मतलब आके सीखना और वहाँ जाकर सिखाना एक बात है लेकिन यहाँ रहना है और जो प्यार या जो डेडिकेशन है ये इस ग्रेट आर्ट फॉर्म में उसमें और ज़्यादा उसको और डेडिकेशन के साथ जुड़ना है वो कब हुआ था अच्छा क्वेश्चन अच्छा सवाल आई केम इन 1973 इन 1981 माय डॉटर वाज बोर्न इन इंडिया एंड व्हेन शी वाज सात साल सेकंड स्टैंडर्ड उस टाइम आई हैड टू डिसाइड यू कैंट आना जाना आना जाना प्रोग्राम्स हियर प्रोग्राम्स देयर इवन विजिटिंग प्रोफेसर आधा साल ठीक नहीं so I said, okay, I want to have, I want to have live music. Uh, America, it's like not main thing. So I decided I will stay as long as I'm welcome, as long as I'm doing something worthwhile, that I can be part of the tradition part of moving it forward, I can grow, not just try to hold something and repeat. And I need musicians so I can create. And so that was, um, I don't know, 87, 88. Before that, I was very happy in India, happy to go to America, go there, perform. I went from 78, I went to America. I said, let me see if I can do something, not just my vanity. I did 250 school lecture demonstrations in Los Angeles. Uh, they had a special program and over 50 programs, 50 programs. I did concerts up and down uh, California. My costumes were worn out. I said, achatike, may India Wapas. That's when I had my daughter on fellowship, then I kept dancing. That's when I discovered that Abhinaya was something that I was very good at. Because you're doing technique, you're learning basics, foundation. Uskibad bhav, uskibad Abhinaya. And uh, it was time I discovered that um, I could understand the text and I could bring it out for the audience. Um, I wasn't leaning like up uh, sub sub uh, sh uh, uh, subtext malumhe. I know I have to make it clear. Anyway, so um, 2023 next year is 50 years I'm in India. So I'm very grateful because that means that I feel welcome and I'm doing something worthwhile. <laughs> Shmalanitram, un namayata 
साचि करोती आनलम व्याजे नापी अभिलाष पूरन सुखम निर्वर्त बात है ये पचास साल और उस पचास साल में इतना सब कुछ हासिल करना इतना प्यार हासिल करना इतना सम्मान हासिल करना अच्छा शरण जी हम लोग ये सुनते आए हैं अक्सर कलाकार कहते हैं कि जो ये क्लासिकल आर्ट फॉर्म्स हैं चाहे वो क्लासिकल वोकल हो क्लासिकल डांसेस हो ये एक जन्म में साधे जाने वाली चीज नहीं है एक जन्म में आप नहीं सीख, सक, सीख सकते हैं उसका थोड़ा सा हिस्सा आप कर लेते हैं आपने तो मणिपुरी सीखा है आपने ओडिसी सीखा है आपने छाऊ सीखा है कैसे मतलब ये ये डेडिकेशन से संभव हुआ इंटरेस्ट से संभव हुआ ये हुआ कैसे वेरी गुड गुड सर सो मैं पहले मणिपुरी डांस ओके माय फर्स्ट आर्ट उसके बाद आई एम दिल्ली में है देखेंगे सब डांस बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी अ डांस कलेक्टर आई एम मणिपुरी लेकिन वन ग्रेट चाउ गुरु कृष्ण चंद्र नायक ही गॉट एस एन ए अवार्ड ही स्टेड एट बर्टिकला केंद्र डूइंग चाउ बैलेज नाउ चाउ टेक्स द सेम ट्रेनिंग आई हैव इन वेस्टर्न डांस बैले एंड मॉडर्न डांस बिल्कुल अलाक डांस लेकिन strength flexibility control and then i thought okay tora tora i'll do right. because i saw drama people thinking oh wow chow is so great and dancers can do better than actors you know even though it's good okay so i started chow
again, Odyssey. Odyssey, only I took it as a academic. But Guruji said, no, you must continue. So I decided this. Egg Jeevan, Egg Style is not long enough. Then I thought, it's not more difficult to do three than to do one. One, Jaramushkil, Teen, Ekdam Sem, Ekdam Sem. And then, Jaralog <clears throat> Bataiki, um, 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 as a rule, you must choose. You have to do one. You can't do two. People will say, oh, not serious. But um, I think it's like children. I can't say, yeah, I want this child and not that child. Because sab cheese a lot. Odyssey is so beautiful, and Abhinaya, and Manipuri is so... It's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a meditation, you know. अच्छा अभी आपने पिछले जवाब में बताया कि अगले साल 50 साल पूरे होने वाले हैं और ये बहुत बड़ा एक आ, मतलब मोटिवेशन है बहुत सारे कलाकारों के लिए ये मोटिवेशन है प्रेरणा है आपसे सीखना है मतलब आपसे दान सीखना एक अलग चीज है लेकिन आपके इस पहलू से भी बहुत कुछ सीखने को है लेकिन आ, क्या कुछ चैलेंजेस भी थे शुरुआती दिनों में हैव यू फेस्ड एनी काइंड ऑफ चैलेंजेस की इंडिया में रहना है और इंडिया में रह के और इंडिया में डांस करना है और इंडिया की पैदाइश नहीं है किसी तरह का चैलेंज था कोई ऑफ कोर्स एवरीवन हैज चैलेंजेस आई हैड माय चैलेंजेस आई थिंक दैट अम वो उस टाइम 1973 से वो सब अम अम विदेशी लोग दे थॉट एवरीवन इज अ हिप्पी इफ यू वर कमिंग फॉर डांस यू मस्ट बी हिप्पी Thank God I was on a Fulbright scholarship. So people had some respect. Like in, everybody thought, okay, TK, you're a foreigner. Uh, very nice, you're learning dance. But nobody thinks foreigner is an artist. Actually, well, Pehele, Mera idea is not to become an Indian dancer. Pehele, my idea is I want to visit India. I want Torah Samajta. So <clears throat> Mara dance will be the <clears throat> will be the vehicle. Through taking dance, I will have a better experience. Like in, once I started, then I wanted to keep learning and keep learning and keep learning. I knew Exal Kibad, Manipuri, America Wapas, I knew Indian function, Mara Punch Minute. Uh, between Bhangra and Bride's Pageant. I thought Torah or time, Torah Acha uh, learning. So basically no one took a foreigner seriously in dancing, but I just loved to dance. When people saw me perform, then people could invite. I have never asked anybody for programs because I understand that a foreigner, no one took seriously unless they saw. Everything that has come to me has come by chance. Someone would be, oh, you know. Um, Biman Ghosh, head of HMV Records in Kolkata, he said to me in 1978, he said, Sharon, Abhi, up, you are one of the top 10% of dancers in India, but you will never get recognition. I said, TK, Kwabatni, I'm happy to dance. But later, after, it took 15 years, 15 years. And then I then organized festivals to present Videshi Log, classical dance and music. Uskibad, Dili Log, Abs Samajta, that um, Videshi Log can be an artist, Kalki Kalakar, whatever level. But, um, um, you know, it's not only a student, they can be an artist. And so I changed it for other others. <coughs> I mean, of course there are challenges, but you see, it's better. I always say, it's not courage. It's naivete. Nain samajta. You don't know this is a wall. Hmm. You just, you know, people are banging on the door 
trying to get in the door. For me, it's a wall, but I don't know that. Oh, bad me, pizza, oh, look, you know. So whether it was uh, ICCR director Alan Nazareth seeing my program and he said, what do you do for musicians abroad? I said, cassette. He said, no, I will pay for your musicians travel if you organize, these are the rules, this, 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 this. I did it. My guru, Kailacharan Mahapatra, Pandit uh, Bhubaneshwar Mishra, who's composed all the music, Hari Prasad Chirasiyaka Guru, Rakha Mahanti, uh, Ratikant Mahapatra for Guinea, they came with me to America, 22 programs. Because ICCR director was fighting, because he saw. I'm first non-Hindu to dance in Sankat Mochan. Um, and you remember, I used to even do satellite TV before there was, I did the inauguration for CPC, mm -hmm. Central Production Center after Asian Games. So many wonderful opportunities, but they've all come from somebody who believed in me, and then I want to prove they're correct. And so um, I've just done everything because I love it, because I don't want to be disappointed. If you ask me, and people say, why have you asked her? She's a foreigner, there's so many good dancers. Afterwards, people will say, wow, you did the right thing. I want to make that happen. But it never happens by, like today, everyone is doing PR. I've never paid for a program. I've never paid for publicity. Um, and I, I will do a program free if it's a good cause or a charity. But... Um, I'm just very grateful that um, that sub, that I have been uh, welcomed, that my art has been appreciated, and that I've inspired others. And also, uh, when I go to schools and colleges to talk, they know that I am here because I love to unpeel the onion, go deep into Indian Sanskriti. I'm not another old auntie saying you must value your tradition. बिल्कुल सही बात कही आपने और भारतीय शास्त्रीय जो कलाएं हैं उससे जुड़ा एक पक्ष ये भी है जो हम महसूस करते हैं कलाकार ना होते हुए बाहर से कि यहाँ एक बहुत बड़ा वर्ग है जो कहता है कि भाई मैं तो मेरे मेरे परिवार में 400 साल से ये कला है 400 साल से हम वोकल कर रहे हैं या 300 साल से ध्रुपद गा रहे हैं या 400 साल से कथक कर रहे हैं और एक अगर नॉन म्यूजिकल बैकग्राउंड का कलाकार आता है उसके लिए सीखना टफ होता है और आपके लिए तो जैसा आपने कहा कि वो बहुत ही चैलेंजेस शुरुआत के रहे होंगे लेकिन वो टाइम कब आया मतलब वो कौन सा ईयर था एटीज में या नाइन्टीज में जब मतलब ये सारे चैलेंजेस बहुत पीछे रह गए और जैसा अभी आपने कहा कि फिर ऑपरचुनिटीज आती गई लोगों ने एक्सेप्ट किया और लोगों ने आपको ये फॉरेनर के टैग में देखने की बजाय एक इंडियन डांस के आ, प्रेमी के तौर पर उसके साधक के तौर पर देखना शुरू कर दिया आई मीन इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ कोर्स एज अ फॉरेनर दैट इज अमेरिकन बट यू नो अभी नो बड़ी मैं अमेरिकन आई सो शेरन लो एन ओ डिस डांसर कितना साल है इट्स इट्स नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट इन फैक्ट लाइक यू नो यू हेयर माई एक्सेंट बिल्कुल अमेरिकन राइट संयुक्त पानग्राही सेड शेर इफ यू डोंट स्पीक नथिंग एल्स देर इज नथिंग द शोज बट आई एम वेरी प्राउड टू बी हु आई एम वन टाइम वेन आई वॉज डांसिंग एट जॉर्जिया टेक इन यू एस ए And the Indian boys they and I said both. They said um, 50-50. I said no, hundred hundred, hundred hundred. Um, you know, when I first began teaching my leading Indian disciple Vishwanath Mangaraj, I didn't want to take the responsibility first. Workshops fine, introduction. But as you say, so many years of training are necessary. But because he's Odia, I said he won't miss because I can't fully uh, 
give him the text and the language. And his father is the leading Mardala player, Pakawaj, uh, Odia Mardala. Uh, so 26 years later, my disciples are now professional dancers in India, in Orissa, and around the world. So I don't know if I've answered your question. You could ask again. I've forgotten. <laughs> no, no. Uh, when you, you have decided that in India, you have to say that your parents are going to be able to do My parents? Huh. Oh, my mother spent 20 years coming half the year to India to be with me, and the last six years for a time. She passed away at the age of 101. My mother was very proud of me, and she was the biggest, biggest supporter. Um, my father had passed away a little earlier. He was a, a chemical engineer, PhD organic chemist. And, um, and like uh, when my brother would say to my mother, oh, you know, what is it? I'll believe when she has New York Times review. So then I get my New York Times review and I send it. Uh, but uh, no, my family is very proud of me. And um, uh, someone said to my mother, told me, tell your mother to stop bragging about you. I said, if a mother can't brag about their child, you know, you don't like it, you know, it's your problem. <laughs> Kelu Babu के बारे में बात करने पे क्योंकि Kelu Babu की जो पर्सनालिटी है मतलब इंडिया के भारतीय कलाओं को जिन्होंने बड़ी पहचान दिलाई जिन गुरुओं में उनने उनमें उनका नाम आता है एक गुरु के अलावा एक 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 पर्सनालिटी के तौर पर कैसे याद करती हैं आप उनको Well he was a genius He was a genius you everyone knows he was very humble but um, humble yet he knew exactly who he was. He understood everything and he was so kind. When he was teaching, no one could understand that he had any favorite among any student. Everyone he gave full attention. When we would, I mean, you know that when you see him dance, everyone remembers it forever. As a, as a shishya, rose, rose, we are seeing that wonderful art. He will look at us in a sitting in a half circle uh, doing something. And then he will imitate each one. And it, this one's like that, and that one's like this, and this is, and he will go down the line. And I have so much to say, each one, it's like, oh yes, that's this one, that's this one, that's this one. Um, he, and every day he had in his home, uh, he had his shrine, the Pujari came. And so it was a real, it was like a Gurukul because you are learning not only uh, Nritya and Natya, but you are learning everything. When you think of him doing Ramayan, it's all, you know, it's not an act from the outside. It come. I asked him once, Guruji, to do Abhinaya, should I look in the mirror? Should I do like in Bharatanatyam, lift your chin, lift your eyebrow, lift your hand? He said, no, just feel it. Just feel it. And I always tell the students, Wopehele Samajta, who is the poet, the text, the time, everything, Samajta. Then you have to feel, then you have to share it. Kilu Babu was so kind. Um, one time I had a program in, in Chennai and he knew Maripas Paisa Jada Nahihe and he said, I'll stay with this student and uh, you don't have to worry about any expenses. And um, um, one time he came to Delhi and he took no charges like that. When we went to USA, he said, sir, if ICCR could charge, you know, at that time it was like fifty dollars a, a, a program, and um, sub same. He was uh, he was generous. He was kind. He was loving. 
he had a passion for his art. But one thing, very interesting with different gurus, he knew that some dancers are not sincere, some students, not sincere, they're cheating. He didn't care. He said, my art, if any dancer, the dancers, he would do an imitation. They learned the dance, take the cassette, throw it over their shoulder, go home and have Belpuri, and not do proper dance. He said, because the dance that's good will come up and those dancers will go down. So he said, I will give my art and the ones who can handle it, they will keep going. And so that's what I believe. Share it. Don't try to hold it. Don't try to protect it. Let everybody have it. But, I mean, he was... I mean, I just think about him, and um, I love him so dearly as my guru, um, as a protector. He believed in me. In 1986, he wrote an affidavit. Uh, he said on uh, uh, Raja Kapoor's TV show, he said, I have five dancers, five disciples, shishas, who can represent my dance anywhere in the world. And then he named them. And I was one of five, 1986. So I don't need more than that. You know, uh, I don't need Jada programs. I just, and the thing is, what you, the responsibility to him to maintain his art, to share his art, to teach students so they can uh, appreciate the beauty of the art that he created. Um, there's so many stories, but like he was inspired when he was a young, young man. And uh, when Sanjukta Panagrahi won a dance competition and then they, uh, he was insulted uh, by the other guru. Huh, you know, your audio, you can't be a dance teacher. Every time, instead of feeling bad, he said, I will show them. And he always worked harder and he did more. But he was a genius.
आपने इतना याद किया उनको इतना मतलब जो आपकी मेमोरीज हैं कभी डांट भी पड़ी थी क्या अगर डांट पड़ी हो तो वो भी बताइए क्या क्या कभी कभी उन्होंने आपको डांटा किसी चीज के लिए माई डॉटर Has he has he ever scolded you for anything? Oh, has he scolded me? One time, I said in class, I was saying to the other, when he would get mad in class, he had a stick, and he would throw it, hit your ankle. I said he never throws a stick at me. It was goodbye. He threw the stick. I got hit with the stick, and um, uh, one time. Oh my goodness! I, I've never told this story. I was so humiliated. We were on tour in America, I think. I think it was no, no, it was in India. We were touring in India early, like this is like the very beginning when he would accompany my programs. And after the program, there's the dinner by the sponsors, and we all went in. And I'm talking to people, and I'm very happy. And I went and I took my food. I didn't wait for him. And oh my God, I I didn't wait before my guru. You know, I should have come in and seen where they were and made sure that he went first. And I and I didn't. I went ahead by myself. Oh. I was. He told me afterwards. I. Th I think. I. Th I think maybe he didn't eat, or 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 even if he did later. But he. He. I mean, just thinking about it, I'm so ashamed that I could have just been thinking after the program and listening to people and not realized that I hadn't made sure that my guru went first. Um, did he ever scold me? Um, I can't really think of being scolded. No. कौन सी ऐसी एक गुरु के तौर पर अभी तो हम उनकी पर्सनालिटी पे बात कर रहे थे हालांकि आपने उनके गुरु के भी कई पहलुओं को डायमेंशंस को टच किया लेकिन एक गुरु के तौर पर उनकी कही कौन सी बात है जो आप में अब जब आप सिखाती हैं आप में हमेशा रहेगी आप हमेशा अपने बच्चों से कहेंगे कि ये ये डूज हैं और ये डोंट्स हैं और डोंट्स पर ज्यादा फोकस करना डूज तो सब बताते हैं बट ये डोंट्स भी हमेशा जीवन में याद रखना आई एम नॉट श्योर एंडरसेन थिंग्स टू डू एंड डोंट या देयर आर फ्यू थिंग्स गुरु ऑलवेज टीच टू द द डिसाइपल्स दैट दीस आर द डूज एंड दीस आर द डोंट्स यू नो इट रिमाइंड्स मी माय डॉटर एस्क मी वंस People say they have rules in their family, and I don't know what our rules are. That means that you understand the rules without being told. With Kalu Babu, he didn't have to say do, don't. You learned by being there. Um, I mean, he. It's hard to say a do and a don't. You know, uh, when you say like the scolding or the do, I remember. Uh, first time practicing with him for my program, and he said, "Use the stage, travel." And I said, "But Guruji, it's supposed to be two steps that way." And he looked at me like I'm Pagal, because when you're teaching in a group, it's fixed. When you're doing on your own, you're free. And then I'm like, "Oh, okay, like that." Um, uh, there were many do's and don'ts. Many do's and don'ts, because being <clears throat> in Katak in Orissa, um, when I was when I was studying while I was pregnant, uh, and I would have to go for a checkup to the hospital. So one other, I mean, I never went alone. Obviously, someone always coming with me. Um, He would give advice. Even one girl, he told her how she should clean her teeth. He would take every detail with everyone. How you should, how you, how you, how you dress, um, how how you behave. In a traditional home in Katak, in the morning there are a lot of do's and don'ts because 
there you would go there was a well you would get your bucket of water you would put it in the place where you would bathe then you would go uh, for your uh, to the toilet which was just a hole in the ground not a bucket of toilet you had to have everything with you so that after that you washed your clothes and everything you couldn't if you forgot your toothbrush you can't go back and get it everything has to be done there and uh, so there were very clear do's and don'ts about that. Um, and then, of course, with the dance, um, everything from your pranam, uh, the respect for the uh, Jagannath Murti, um, and as I say, how you behave with musicians, uh, with dancers. But it, you know, I don't remember it as like a list of rules. It's you breathe it, you live it, you learn it. You just, it just comes into you. Sounds. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका आपने समय निकाला हमसे बातचीत की और आपका अपना सफर तो हमने जाना ही और साथ ही साथ केलू बाबू के बहुत सारे आपने ऐसे किस्से सुना बता दिए जो शायद अभी तक लोगों को पता नहीं थे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपने आपका और हमारी तरफ से ढेर सारी शुभकामनाए Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure talking. And some memories that I haven't shared before. But, um, you know, Kilu Babu was so wonderful. And um, I have a responsibility to him, to the art, to the divine, and to my disciples that I have to carry on these arts and share them um, with everyone in India abroad whenever people ask. And I feel so blessed to be able to have this opportunity to uh, to share these arts, love, truth, and beauty, genuine. So thank you. Lovely talking to you. Namaskar. Yeah, thank you.